It is estimated that more than 8.7 million species inhabit the Earth, more due to hunting, deforestation and global warming. One in ten of these species faces extinction, however there are some of these animals that seemed extinct that appeared when we least expected it. So in this video I will show you 10 incredible cases of animals captured by cameras that we previously thought were extinct. Animal number 10, Cuban Selenodon is a species, endemic to Cuba, belonging to the order Sauricomorpha, which includes moles and shrews. The Cuban Selenodon belongs to the Solenodontidae family, along with another similar species, the Haitian Selenodon. The most peculiar characteristic of these species is their poisonous saliva. It is a nocturnal species that roams the forest in search of food, from small insects to animals. Also known as Almiki, the Cuban Selenodon was discovered by German naturalist Wilhelm Peters in 1861. Around 36 individuals were captured. It has small eyes and a coat that varies from brown to black. It is very similar to the shrew, although it is more similar to members of the Tenracidae family, from Madagascar. An adult can be around 41 to 56 centimeters long, including the tail, and its appearance is reminiscent of a giant rat, with an extremely elongated snout, and a hairless tail with scales. In 1970, the Cuban Selenodon was declared extinct, as no other specimens had been found since 1890. But in 1974, three individuals were found and captured. Later studies revealed that it can still be found in the Orient province, on the eastern tip of Cuba. But it is still a rare mammal, as it is a nocturnal burrower, living mainly underground. In 2003, another individual was found and captured for scientific studies for two days, and then released. Animal number nine is a turtle. Fernanda spent almost 100 years of her life alone. She was isolated in a natural corral formed by lava on the Fernandina island of the Galapagos, one of the most inhospitable and inaccessible due to constant volcanic activity. Since she couldn't leave this isolated square kilometer, which is like a dry forest island in the middle of a lunar landscape, she is a smaller than normal female turtle. For a giant tortoise, its shell measures just 54 centimeters. It is very likely that she has had little access to food and water all these years, says Danny Rueda, director of the Galapagos National Park. Fernanda not only lived as a castaway until 2019, when she was found by an expedition, it is also shipwrecked in relation to its species. It is the only living specimen of Kelenoidus fantasticus which disproves that its family became completely extinct more than 100 years ago. The last male was recorded in 1906 by the California Academy of Sciences. But Fernanda is today proof that there could be others like her. It is the hope of the Galapagos National Park to find other giant tortoises of its kind, with which it could repopulate the only island in the archipelago that until now did not have its own variety. We need at least another female and another male. Because if we only find one male, the descendants could have genetic problems due to it being a cross between brothers, says the director of the national park. Animal number eight is the nocturnal parakeet, also known as the orange-bellied parakeet, is a small species of parakeet endemic to Australia. It is known as being one of the most elusive and mysterious birds in the world with no known sightings of the bird between 1912 and 1979, leading to speculation that it had become extinct. Sightings since 1979 have been extremely rare and the population size of the bird is unknown, although based on the scarcity of records the number is believed to be between 50 and 249 adult individuals. The first photographic and video evidence of a living individual was publicly confirmed in July 2013. After 17,000 hours in the field and 15 years of research, wildlife photographer John Young obtained several photos and a 17-second video of the bird in Queensland. In August 2015, the capture of a live individual was announced by the Australian press. Animal number 7 The Terror Skink, Phobosynchus bocordi, 
Also commonly called Bocort's terrific skink, Bocort's eyelid skink and Bocort's skink, is a species of lizard in the family Cincidae. The species is endemic to the Isle de Pins, Isle of Pines, a small islet off the coast of New Caledonia. First described in 1876, the species was presumed to be extinct, but was rediscovered in 1993, and since then several individuals have been seen. Because of its small area of occupation and small population size, the International Union for Conservation of Nature has assessed its conservation status as being critically endangered. Animal number six is a bit strange. The New Guinea singing dog is a wild dog originally found on the island of New Guinea, known for its distinct and melodic vocalization. Little is known about their behavior, social structure or the number of wild individuals still in existence. There are only two confirmed photograph sightings of these animals in the wild. All studies were based on the few individuals found in captivity. Related to the Australian dingo, New Guinea singing dogs were probably brought to the island by the first travelers thousands of years ago. Free to roam the entire territory, and isolated from the rest of the world, they developed without influence from other canids for almost 6,000 years. Long genetic isolation has produced several unique characteristics in these animals. Today, New Guinea singing dogs serve as companion dogs as part of a species conservation effort focused on their exceptional intelligence and physical capabilities. Many are shown in dog show competitions, in which they are displayed in their natural condition. In 2020, a study confirmed that there are still small populations of this species living in the wild, in remote areas of the Indonesian mountains. Number 5 on our list but if you've made it this far, don't forget to check if you're subscribed and leave a like, we're together, the Pondicherry Shark, a very rare and little-known species that lives in coastal waters and, perhaps, also in brackish waters of the Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asia. Small and stocky, it has a very long snout, a large first dorsal fin located further forward on the back and a long tail fin. It is gray above and white below, the pectoral, second dorsal, and caudal fins have black tips. No longer seen since 1979, it is classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as a critically endangered species and may even already be extinct. Animal number four is Zambezer leopard. A species of leopard believed to be extinct was spotted by witnesses in Taiwan. Called Neophelis nebulosa brachiura, the animal is better known as the Formosan cloud leopard. Having not been seen since 1983, the species was declared extinct in 2013, although Taiwanese researchers were reluctant to do so due to reports that occasionally emerged from people claiming to have seen the animal. According to Taiwan News, rangers have been monitoring the area, called Liuljiao, since last summer looking for the leopard. One group of people say they saw the animal hunting goats, while another group spotted the leopard just before it climbed a tree. Reports are that the animal was sighted last year. Between 1990 and 1993, 16,000 images of carnivorous animals in Taiwan were analyzed and the rare leopard was not among them. Later, a 12-year study, completed in 2013, was completed without records of the animal. As a result, its extinction was declared. Professor Lu Qiangxi of the Department of Life and Science at National Taiteng University told Focus Taiwan News that he believes the animal still exists. He attributes the fact that the Formosan clouded leopard has remained unseen for so long because it is a vigilant animal and cannot be easily captured by humans. Animal number three on our list is the Tinga caiman, spectacled caiman, also known in Portugal as Saimauta lunetas, or Saimau muscarado, is a carnivorous reptile that inhabits different types of rivers and freshwater lakes in the south from Mexico, Central America and northwestern South America. In Brazil, it was called Jacaratinga because of its white back, Tinga means, white, in the Tupi language. Males can measure between 1.8 and 2.5 meters in length and females, 1.4 meters. 
They feed on different species of animals, crustaceans, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and small mammals. Mating occurs in the rainy season. The female makes a nest agglomerating small amounts of dry vegetation and earth and lays 14 to 40 eggs there, which take, on average, 60 days to hatch. At birth, they measure around 20 centimeters. The penultimate on our list is the tree kangaroo wonderwai is so rare that it managed to remain missing for almost a century, having been considered extinct. Now, the animal has not only been seen, but also photographed for the first time. The distinctive monkey-like kangaroo climbs the trees in the mountainous forests of New Guinea. It had only been observed there once by Western scientists, in 1928. The Wonderboy tree kangaroo had not been collected, seen or reported since that first observation. It is one of the least known mammals in the world, says Mark Eldridge, a marsupial biologist at the Australian Museum in Sydney. Now an amateur botanist from the United Kingdom has led an expedition through nearly impenetrable bamboo forests more than 5,000 feet in the remote Wonderwall Mountains of West Papua, Indonesia, to find it. Just showing that it still exists is incredible. It's such a remote and difficult to access region that I doubted whether we would ever know, says Eldridge, who did not participate in the expedition. The penultimate on our list is the tree kangaroo wonderwai is so rare that it managed to remain missing for almost a century, having been considered extinct. Now, the animal has not only been seen, but also photographed for the first time. The distinctive monkey-like kangaroo climbs the trees in the mountainous forests of New Guinea. It had only been observed there once by Western scientists, in 1928. The Wonderboy tree kangaroo had not been collected, seen or reported since that first observation. It is one of the least known mammals in the world, says Mark Eldridge, a marsupial biologist at the Australian Museum in Sydney. Now an amateur botanist from the United Kingdom has led an expedition through nearly impenetrable bamboo forests more than 5,000 feet in the remote Wonderwall Mountains of West Papua, Indonesia, to find it. Just showing that it still exists is incredible. It's such a remote and difficult to access region that I doubted whether we would ever know, says Eldridge, who did not participate in the expedition.